Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is DJ Smooth, man, and I'm about to do an FL Studio um, how to make a beat tutorial video for my fam. I am going to teach you how to use OBS, um, voice meter, and Fruity Loops together to create your own beat tutorials using the software. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is get our hands on the free software's voice meter in OBS. So we're going to bring up a browser window here. Um, let's type in voice meter. That's V O I C E M E E T R. Okay. You don't need anything but voice meter itself, but if you have voice meter banana, um, that's useful. It does the basically the same thing. It's just a little bit more complicated. This is freeware. All you want to do is just uh, pull up the site, download it, and install it. Once you have it installed, it looks something like this. So um, you have a couple of different channels. Uh, they're all hardware inputs on these two sides, one and two, because... Um, I've got two cards on here. Uh, one card is the built-in, the other is my M Audio Pre. The uh, output modules here are A1 and A2, and these basically allow us to use Fruity Loops with an alternative driver because the software's Camtasia and OBS don't have ASIO drivers. Okay, don't know why. But they just don't build ASIO drivers into these things. They're um, basically built for uh, people who aren't in the audio field, in the Windows audio field. So let's um, dive right into voice meter. Uh, we crank this up and we go to channel 1. And I use the kernel streaming mode for my M-Audio Mobile Pre because I need phantom power for this microphone that I use. And... Um, so we set that to kernel streaming. You could try WDM or MME. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's going to just suit your needs. The little audibility and telepan stuff here are useful effects. The audibility is basically a noise gate. And a very good one. Uh, like the attack on there, it works really well. The AB just tells which side of um, the microphone you want it to use. We don't really need that. But if uh, you're using um, a two channel, like stereo inputs, the mono here, um, definitely you want to have mono on. So it goes to both channels. The next thing that we set up is our outputs. These two, you don't have to really mess with too much. But output number one, you need to map that to like your ASIO M Audio Mobile Pre, um, which is what I have, or any of your audio device that happens to be ASIO. That's the whole point of this. Um, the channel A2 is your um, Windows device manager or your kernel streaming, which is a kernel level audio and your mixed media um, drivers, which are like the old, old school Windows 98 type shit. You don't really need that. But for this um, particular video, the A2 is set to WDM. Um, speakers are via high definition audio, which is the built-in audio. And in here, in your audio mixer, you want to have it set up in the control panel as a um, WDM, as, as voice meter, as your default, um, as your default sound device, I believe. Let's see, where is our sound? Sound right here. Um, in this case, I don't. My default is actually the M Audio Pre, but. Um, I said that because I've watched a whole bunch of videos on this sort of stuff and there's a lot of confusing information out there. Either way, um, just make sure that your speakers and everything um, are jabbing up and you're getting input and output going to these sort of things. Now that we got voice meter in and out set up, let's go to set up our system settings on voice meter, which is our buffers. Um, in here, we can set our buffer times. I don't use MME, so I don't care. 
Um, but WDM is uh, half a second. Uh, kernel streaming is half a second. And the ASIO is pretty low, 256. That's the reason why it exists. You don't have to mess with any of the rest of the stuff here. Um, except maybe like the 44.1. Um, but that's a personal thing. I, I changed mine to 44.1. I don't know why. But anyways, uh, the, uh, the buffering is pretty low. Um, because I've got... Uh, an issue I had an issue whenever I first started doing these videos with snap crackles and pops in my um, in my audio and I, and I stopped doing these things for a long time because uh, because of the audio issues and latency issues so uh, after uh, selling a few beats and, and grinding shit out I, I put 16 gigabytes of RAM in here and put in a quad core processor to replace my old i5 uh, I put in a Xeon, basically a server um, CPU, and blew this thing out. Okay, so I've got all the memory I can possibly put in it. I've got all the top of the line um, uh, CPU for the motherboard that I, I have, and this motherfucker works like a champ. So we're going to close this out. And um, by the way, we're using Camtasia to capture this software um, and capture this session. Um, I did another tutorial earlier in the video, uh, just didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to. So I'm just redoing it. Um, now we're going to pull up OBS, um, but let's first go to the website and um show you where it's at obs studio all right so do a search or open broadcast software it's open source meaning it's free grab it download it and um pull it up on your system and it brings up this particular window right here so let's dive right into the settings here um settings are here or up here on uh, under the files uh, settings so we'll just uh, pop it open here the first general settings I would recommend just using default on here um, to start out with your streaming settings um, if you're gonna do live streaming on YouTube for this um, maybe uh, I'll do another video on how to do that, but, uh, the output things here, uh, I would suggest your, um, simple mode here and, um, I don't think the bit rate is set high enough here. Let's go to 2,500. My software is X264 is what I want to use. Top of the 160 is fine. Enable advanced encoder. Encoder preset. Higher is less CPU. Um, ultra fast. Uh, <clears throat> this stuff was auto set up for me by uh, YouTube's um, setup functions. And I just haven't used it as uh, frequently. But we definitely want to have our audio, our output set to .mov or even MP4. Uh, you don't want to work in um, FLV unless you're going straight to YouTube and not doing any editing. If you're going to plan on adding any graphics or... Editing out like the ums and ahs and all the stuff uh, or dead space in your videos, you want to have uh, .mov selected uh, or MP4, which is a smaller file. But I prefer MOV because that is a native format for After Effects, which is some another discussion we'll have in the future. The audio settings are default-ish. Except for desktop audio device, you need to have it set to your voice meter input. Okay, all the rest of this stuff is no good. You got to be on voice meter input, as well as your mic and auxiliary audio device. You need it on voice meter output. So when you 
have voice meter active, you want to be able to see your voice popping over here on the mic and auxiliary side of things. Right now, I think I'm peeking over a little bit, getting into the red, so I'm going to turn this mic down just a bit. Um, and then we'll move down from audio. Um, all the rest of the stuff you just cancel up, you know, just use default. The video, you can actually um, use any size you want. And you can um, type this in directly, believe it or not. And it will, um, it will uh, let you just type in the video size any size you want you can choose like default like uh high def 1920 1080 1280 720 which is what i typically use for youtube videos use what you want for these particular video this video here the reason it's 1280 by 1024 is that's the resolution of the old school lcds that i'm running here these old 19 inch pair of lcds from about 10 years ago um this stuff is cool this stuff is cool you've got choices uh 24 30 if you want high uh def you just go with 1920 1080 and 60 i don't really need that for youtube videos people are mostly watching this shit on their phones um or on desktop rigs and and stuff like that anyways uh video is cool um hotkeys are shortcuts and advanced i don't understand most of this stuff i didn't need to modify any of this that i can recollect so i'm just going to leave it alone um the important thing is that you've got audio coming from your mic into this application so that we can record your voice over the top of fruity fruity loops okay without any real latency issues um next up is our sources window here and basically, our sources um, tell the program, OBS, what to record. So now that we're here and we're recording, let's pull into uh, the final stretch of this video. We'll start recording. And actually, before we do that, we want to do our sources. So you hit the little plus button here and hit window capture but before we do that let's go ahead and fire up fruity loops and um once we fire up fruity loops i'm going to bring this all the way over here and um fruity loops this is very important um that you set your options your audio options inside of here from whatever audio device you're using into voice meter virtual asio okay once you've done that now you can make your beat videos you got it all this other stuff was just for that particular point all right now that we have this audio set up we can talk and make videos okay so um there's some nick mirror loops let's get back over here to uh to our obs now we'll set up our sources so we we'll hit the plus button and hit windows capture all right we'll label this fl studio and hit ok and it brings up the next window the next window allows us to pick the window all right so you should have the option of fl studio now we are cooking with fucking gas you got it so we can make a beat and do a video right quick like so let's just um let's do like something simple right quick and dirty and from there uh we can um start recording okay so this is the window for obs this is not fruity loop so let's hit start recording and we'll move this out of the way now we're in fruity loop so we'll grab a little uh kick drum and we'll grab a clap and we'll set that to channel two
I just wanted to show you guys how to make a beat video with free software and um, set it up properly. So I appreciate everyone tuning in to the video. Um, and I want you guys to uh, like and subscribe if you would. You feel me? Um, I'm at um, YouTube at the real DJ Smooth, and um, that's my channel. I want you guys to come by and um, like and subscribe, please. Leave me a comment in the video uh, comment section. Let me know what kind of uh, videos y'all want to see more of, and um, appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll talk to y'all soon. We got another video coming soon, so uh, appreciate it. Peace out, y'all.